Here is the second video of our fingerprinting series. Um, I want to do a quick review of a few of the main concepts that we went over in class. Remember the three classifications of fingerprints are loops, arches, and whirls. You can remember that L-A-W. That spells law for those of you who aren't too good at spelling. Um, and so with loops, remember a loop has an opening where it starts on one side and it closes on the other side. And then you have a delta, see the delta right here, on the opposite side of the loop. An arch has no delta. It can have kind of a tent in the middle that looks a little bit like a delta, but um, generally does not have any type of delta. Uh, and then whirls. A whirl has a kind of a central part with a core to the middle, and it has two deltas, delta here and delta here. Okay. Now, one thing we did not talk about in class so much um, was why we call the loops either a radial loop or an ulnar loop. The reason we do that is because the large bone that is that is closest to your thumb going down your arm, that is the radius, okay, and then the inside one closest to your pinky is the ulna. So that's why we call one pointing towards your thumb um, a radial loop and the other one towards your pinky as an ulnar loop. And so that's all those directions. And I'm going to give you a link to this website for you to look at. Um, and so these are the same classifications. You can use these if you were either absent or you can use this if you um, didn't quite get it. You can use these links and use these things to uh, basically figure out what each of the, the fingerprints are. Now, I want you to read through the primary classification, the Henry system. Um, spend a little bit of time looking at this and see if you can understand it. We're going to talk about it in, the, in a class period or two. But I want you to read through this uh, to see if you can if you can figure out the Henry system. Um, maybe bonus points. I might actually throw out a, a quiz or two uh, when we get in the class, or a quiz question or two whenever we get to class on the Henry system, where I will give you um, the I'll, I'll give you the indexes of what uh, of what each finger has if it has a particular type of. Uh, uh, whether it has loops or arches and see if you can figure it out maybe for some bonus points but this is what I really wanted us to, to focus on and that would be minutia okay this is secondary classification the first one is determining is it a loop uh, a loop an arch or a whirl and what type it is and then secondary classification is finding the minutia you're going to be doing this in class with your own fingerprints and so I want you to, to be able to see these, that you can have a ridge ending, that's where just in the middle you just have a line stop, that would be a ridge ending. Sometimes they open up, sometimes they end up, sometimes they end down. Um, a bifurcation is when you have something split into two different lines, dot, obviously, it's a dot. Um, an island is a dot that's a little bit longer, sometimes between two lines you'll just have a little uh, short segment, that would be uh, an island. Um, a lake looks kind of like an enclosure here. Sometimes it's called an eye. Um, a hook or a spur, just where you have one kind of sticking off the side. It's like a little short bifurcation. A bridge for just two lines. Double bifurcation is when you have two splits together. Um, but a trifurcation is whenever it kind of goes into a, well, a tri-fork. Okay? Um, opposed bifurcations is when you have something that looks a little bit like a, you know, a dumbbell type shape. Um, ridge crossing uh, would be a, a longer version of that and then an opposed bifurcation or ridge ending uh, where you have the bifurcation but it just kind of looks like a Y and it stops there okay and so these are just some of the many types of ridge characteristics uh, that you can see here's some other examples that I want you to look at on the website uh, and we're not going to get too much into the spots between friction ridges, but if you have a really detailed print, you can sometimes actually see the pores themselves if you look here between the ridges. We're not going to do a lot of tertiary classification. Uh, but the main things that I do want you to focus on is look over that Henry system and, I'll, and see if you can understand it. And I also want you to look at the minutia because next class we're going to be building a 3D model and you're going to be putting in minutia on your, on your model itself. And that is an under five minute lecture video. Go look at the website and see if you can uh, if you can figure out stuff and also on top of that catch up on any stuff on any online work that you are behind on.